Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Doom 2's Harrowfield 2 and Ultraviolence. This is map 10, Base Blaze. Hey, would you look at this? A beginning area in Harrowfield 2 that is actually chill. I mean, the previous three levels had insane beginnings. But now you can actually take it a bit easy. You don't spawn in a battleground. Okay, so the beginning of this map is a bit weird, because you hit the switch to lower the red key, and the red door is here, and behind it is a blue key. You open the blue key door, and there's a yellow key. And then you hit the yellow switch, and there's the exit. Let's kill the last saw from here. So yeah, um, let's go take the exit. Oh no, I've been tricked. It was not the exit. This map has, has this map has deceived me. Okay, before we hit this hit the switch here, let's kill these shotgunners. Now we can grab the berserk to take on the hell knight. Let's play some punch out. And here's round two. Ow! Maximum damage roll. Nice. 64 damage. Okay, now we can kill the Nankibus here. Let's see if we can stun him. Stun him to death. Okay, so this uh, room here is a huge trap. Uh, once you grab the super shotgun, it's gonna lower these bars. And as you can see, you cannot get out of here. Now, once you hit this switch, it's gonna lower two Hell Knights. No biggie. But, 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 but. This switch, if you hit it, this room is gonna get filled with Revenants. And there's very, very little chance you're gonna survive that. So, what we're gonna do here is wait for these bars to lower. Since they are on a 30 second timer. There we go. Now we press the switch. And we can safely kill the Revenants from here. Instead of sharing one tiny room with them. And it is a bit tedious, so bear with me please. But luckily they are not barons. But it's still a bit annoying. Especially when they... ...manage to uh, land, a hit on, land a hit on you. Especially when it's an uh, 80 damage missile hitting you in the face. But this time we didn't get hit. Now down here, a bunch of imps have spawned and a baron. And this part is a bit awkward, because, well, as you know, you cannot jump over enemies in this game. You cannot run over them. So, you have to be a bit lucky that you can uh, maneuver like I did. So as you can see, we're back in this room, but now the wall behind the red door has opened up. And there's two Archertrons and three Barons. And thankfully they give us a rocket launcher to deal with them. So I don't have to do uh, some hair revealed one shenanigans where I kill Barons with a super shotgun. So yeah, this uh, is a nice gift. A rocket launcher. Now, once you hit this switch, you can go through the door here. But beware of the revenants around the corners. And there's also a mancubus behind the pillar. As you can see. Now, shooting this switch, we'll open up this door. The only thing to watch out for is the revenants. These specters you can just punch out with the berserk you grabbed earlier. To kill time, just rocket these demons. Unless you really want to punch them out. 
But I don't, because that's boring for the video. Okay, once we hit this switch, we're gonna deal with the hardest part of this level. And that is the Cyber Demon. So, you could kill him with the Rocket Launch and Super Shotgun. But I'm gonna go for a very risky trick, or well, uh, strategy. And that's to just Telefrag it using this teleporter. But I must really time it well. So I hope this goes well. He must walk diagonally. Come on. Come on, Cyberdemon. Now. Yeah, boy. Got it. Man, that is so good to, to just do it. I had many runs where I teleported when the Cyberdemon was like here or, you know, just a few units away from the teleport destination and then I eat two rockets and I'm dead. But this time I uh, timed it really well. I'm actually quite proud of myself, if I do say so myself. So with the hardest bit done, I'm confident I'm gonna finish the level now. Just this uh, auto area to deal with and we are done. I may as well go, just go for the rocket launcher. I saved so much ammo by telefragging the cyber demon, I may as well go uh, full Rambo. Ah, you know what? There. Now, we have all the kills, all the secrets. We're done with base blaze. So, what can I say about this level? It's weird, I don't know, it's short-ish. Fairly easy, except for the Cyber Demon. And, I don't know, just strange with the beginning keys. and The Revenant Trap is a bit unfair, but you can kinda exploit it if you know what you're doing. It's, I don't know, it's a mediocre map. Not a big fan, but I don't hate it uh, either. It's okay. So, uh, up next is map 11, and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.